Gang, gang, hello everybody. I hope you guys are having as awesome of a day as I am. Um, hopefully today is the day we hit 50 and become affiliates. Um, it's been a bit of a journey, definitely a learning process, but I am super excited. Uh, I've only got two hours. I mean, two hours is a long time, but in this game, I'm going to blink and it's going to be gone. So we're going to move pretty quickly. Uh, I was originally going to show you the old world that we were playing together and kind of uh, show you what I was doing wrong and why I wanted to start a new one. Instead, I'm going to show you a world I've been playing off stream. Um, I've been playing it on my personal channel, but uh, which Remy Loner, go give your boy a follow as well, if you'd like. Uh, but basically, I'm going to show you what I did right. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Just up. Uh, uh, there it is. Look at this thing. This is absolutely, dude, just so much. Um, so I want to start a new world with you guys, but first I got to show you some stuff I learned. Pneumatic doors, they open faster than the other doors. Duh, of course they do. Uh, incubators, clutch. Sweepers, conveyor loaders, clutch. Uh, so I've got... Temperature became a bit of an issue, and so I did this, uh, cooling system with these radiant pipes. Um, as well as with this, uh, ventilation. Um, so this thing is these are electrolyzers they are using the water to make hydrogen and oxygen h2o makes sense right it's science uh you keep the hydrogen trapped because of the different gas densities the oxygen is going to drop below the hydrogen we've got these mesh tiles here these mesh tiles let uh liquid and gas go through uh so basically the oxygen falls below the hydrogen this gas pump, when the pressure is above 500 ga grams, will turn on because of the automation switch. Uh, and then it sends hydrogen, which is the pink stuff, into this gas tank as well as into the hydrogen generator. Any excess hydrogen is coming over into this. Uh, this thing is an anti-entropy thermonullifier. Um, basically, you, you only find these. You can't build these. Um, but they make stuff very cold by using hydrogen. So it uses 10 grams of hydrogen per second to heat production is negative 80 KDT. I don't even know what that stands for. Anyways, make stuff very cold. I'm using these radiant gas pipes here to basically take this hot gas. So if I go to temperature, this gas is super hot when you're pumping it. Um, so you need to cool it off before you send it into your base. Otherwise, you're going to be sending, let's see, how hot is it coming out of here? Oxygen at 101 degrees. You do not want to pump 101 degree stuff into a 71 degree environment. You're going to heat it up. That's how heat works. So what we do is we take these radiant pipes here. Uh, this gas filter is basically just filtering out oxygen. Anything that's not oxygen stays in this little biome that I don't really care about because no one comes over here. This is fully self-sustaining. The hydrogen is going into the hydrogen generator, which is filling up this battery and is powering the whole system. It's completely enclosed and I don't have to touch it. Look at that. No excess power. This manual generator was just as a startup. And if for some reason the system does break and it shuts down, I just have it just in case. But um, the battery recharge thresholds all the way down and the priority is at one. So anyways, so that's a lot to learn. Um, I'm pumping all of that stuff over to here, as well as using it to cool this area, which I found out how to do plumbing correctly. So I have a closed loop here, which is using this. Uh, this is a water sieve, which takes polluted water and makes regular water. However, it doesn't kill the germs, so you can't just use it for whatever. But what you can use it for is toilets. You can put the clean water back in the toilets and the sinks. Because um, if they don't eat it, germs don't matter. Uh, any excess, uh, as you can see, I've got this bridge here. So any excess water pollution, because this line is full, will go past. Let's see if it'll happen right now. And it feeds the thimble reeds. And anything that the thimble reeds don't take up goes into this pit. Which I haven't had to use this yet, but if it does fill up too much, I will use this liquid pump to pump out the excess. So we got that, we got food. Oh, the conveyor system. Guys, I know we need to get to our new world stat, but I gotta show you this. So these auto sweepers pick up eggs, but they pick up the eggs only if there's more than six critters. Uh, basically because we can hold a maximum of seven. We could hold more, but the size of the ranch and the amount of food I have, seven is the most efficient number I've got right now. So if there's, like right here, there's four out of seven, so it's leaving the eggs. 
But down here, six out of seven. So if more eggs get hatched, or if one of these hatches, it's going to sweep up the excess egg. It's going to pump it over to here, and it's going to put it in this, uh, as Francis John called it, who is who I learned a bunch of this stuff from. Uh, shout out to that guy. Go to his YouTube, Francis John. He is the man. Uh, this is where I learned a bunch of this stuff. But uh, this is not a kill room. This is an evolution chamber, and they're going to evolve into meat for your barbecue. Um, so you dump the eggs in here. Uh, we have a bunch of eggs just sitting there. Look at that, and they'll just keep stacking. And basically, if there's room in an incubator, a duplicate, because I have the priority set to like seven, if there's room in an incubator, a duplicate will come take an egg and put it into an incubator. If there's not room in an incubator, this egg's just going to sit there until it hatches, which I believe incubation's at 96 for that one. This is going to hatch shortly. When this does hatch, this auto, or the thing's going to die. It can't get out. It's going to drown. The hatchling, the sweet, the sweetle, whatever it is, is going to die. As long as it's not a Paku, the Paku might live. Uh, but then you take the auto sweeper, it scoops up the meat, it puts it on the conveyor loader, and then we send that down Chanson to our bar or our electric grill where he will make barbecue. And then I have this auto sweeper, which will take anything made by said barbecue. Oh, I didn't set it. Edible. So anything edible that the cook drops here will automatically get scooped up and get dumped into this conveyor chute. Ta-da! Um, so we've learned a whole lot. Um, pneumatic doors open faster is a big one. Yeah, just a lot of a lot of little things that I really think I can streamline a base. Oh, I have this little closed system. Um, this is no longer pumping anything, but basically if I turn this on, this is the carbon skimmer. It will skim the carbon from the environment and it makes polluted water. So you set up a polluted water seep next to it to clean said polluted water to power said carbon skimmer. And you have this fully enclosed loop. Um, I have plenty of power because I have this coal. Uh, and this is all run on one coal generator, which is pretty wild. And I am trying to like put these warm things down here, surrounding it by Weeswort. The big thing with the new DLC that we're going to have to worry about is this radiation aspect. I didn't have radiation before. Now I do. Um, but with all that being said, this world is special to me and i want to take my time with it and sit here and think so i don't want to play it for you guys because it's going to be kind of grindy yeah geeker the complexity is no joke um uh but we've got this call cobalt volcano that's producing a lot of heat and i was having an issue where they started to collect the stuff that the cobalt well cobalt they were collecting it and they were bringing it into the base and it was becoming a problem um so i had to stop doing that but Basically, I don't want to mess this world up because I want to get into space and keep learning um, the new elements in the DLC, like the rockets and the rad stuff. So with that being said, haven't shown you all that, we're going to start a new world together. And I'm really pumped. Um, I know I came in hot. I'm, I'm all jacked up on coffee and video games. So new game. We're going to do survival. We want the sweat, baby. Spaced Out is the new DLC where you basically, your the starting asteroid doesn't have everything that you're going to need to survive, so you have to go to space quickly, um, and it's kind of your goal to like get out there as fast as you can. They, they provide you with these little teleporters, so you don't have to get rockets out of nowhere. Um, you can teleport to the inside of other asteroids. I'm going to play Classic for now because that's what I'm comfortable with. As I learn the DLC, I will move on to Spaced Out, I'm sure. But for now... Let's go, baby. We're just going to get a random seed. A whole new world. Did we hit 50? Are we at 50? Spezia. Hey. Shelby, that's your mom. Uh, I just doxed you. Uh, Safety Club, that's your mom. Gang, gang. That's awesome. Well, welcome. I'm going to play a very complex game. Um, we're going to move some gases around. We're going to try to keep people from starving. But yeah, it's going to be awesome. So happy to be at 50. It was fun. What's the next goal? King Geeker, what's the next goal? On to the next one. You know how I am, man. I can never just relish the victory. I've got a what's next. I'm like Sean Combs in that one video. I'll drop it. I'll drop a link to it in the Discord. Join the Discord if you'd like. It's a good time. We share memes and cat pictures. It's mostly cat pictures and bearded dragon pictures, to be honest. Okay, there's some dogs. 
Gang, gang, gang. So it takes a little while. The RNG has got to do all the math to generate my world. Now, first things first, if anyone's going to play this game, someone someone get Pharaoh Conch in here. He's probably at work, but get him in here because he's the only other one I know who plays this. We want a digger. We definitely need a digger, and we're definitely going to want our researcher. Now, depending on what I roll with these is going to depend on what I get for my third. So let's see. Reroll. And they didn't used to have this reroll mechanic. Um, You used to have to, like, back out, try again, back out, try again. And they realized that so many people were spending 20, 30 minutes before they even started playing doing this exact thing that they uh, incorporated like a uh, reroll mechanics so that you don't start basically screwed with crappy dupes. Because the RNG is so important, you could end up with a dupe that has terrible stats and a bunch of negative traits, and he's completely useless to you, basically. So Camille, I like plus 10 digging. That's great. And a morning attribute decrease. She's not going to learn science. I don't care. Stress reaction vomiter. I'm going to have so much polluted water already that I don't really mind if she vomits. I hope she doesn't do it in the clean water, but if anything, she's just going to give me extra water. And it off gas is polluted oxygen, which you can turn to oxygen. So really, that's almost a benefit because I'm comfortable with it. Now we're going to get a good research. Ooh, plus 10 increased construction flatulent. I do not want natural gas in my base. It's going to make it harder to grow plants. Um, it's going to make other stuff just not function correctly. So even though she's got plus 10 science, I can't take her. Gossman, sorry, you're done. Also, feel free to drop uh, names for these three dupes in the chat if you'd like. If anybody's got some creative names. You know what? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and name the digger. Spitzia after our 50th follower. Bam. Plus eight science, increased medicine. I don't care about increased medicine and decreased bathroom use speed. I don't want it because they already take too much time. Decreased germ resistance, nighttime attribute. Honestly, this one I can take. Ugly Crier is, again, just going to give me more water if she gets stressed out. So I'm going to take this. Um, and let's see. Let's get a good name. Marie is going to be... Uh, I actually, they, they got some new random names for the duplicates, which are pretty cute. Oh, weird. The randomized duplicate button's not working. Anyways, we're going to go with uh, Becky with the good hair. You always got to have a Becky with the good hair. I make one in every world I play, so might as well get it out of the way now. Um, and now they didn't have anything extra, so I want to go another digger and see if they get any extra... I want digging, but I want something else. Like, I want probably ranching, honestly. But I want good digging and a little ranching. We might be clicking a while. And sometimes you'll be clicking real fast, and you'll accidentally click right past the perfect one. Uh, she needs more food than the other, so I'm not going to take her. But I like, I like those stats. She would be good for art. Morning attribute. Can't be a doctor. Okay, we got two diggers. We'll find a rancher later. Let's find a good name. Um, uncomfortable Space Station. Doom Space Drunk, that's foreboding. Disease Citadel, Data Dreamland. I like that one, the Data Dreamland. Let's go. Uh, Rowan is not Rowan. Rowan is going to be... Let's get, you know, since King Geeker was in the last one, let's get him going. And bam. And we're going to embark on a journey, you guys. Uh, you may or may not have a trash job. You get to dig. I don't know. You're gonna you're gonna get into some hot places and some cold places. All right, here we are. First things first. You got to pause the game. Um, we want to consolidate all this water into one chamber, but we also need to make a bathroom fast. All of our first couple of builds are gonna be super temporary. So I'm gonna rush this. We'll do those. I'm gonna rush that, and then we're gonna. I can't build it. We're going to go fast. We're going to go real fast because I want to try to get as much done as I can today. And we're going to do something like that. We're going to rush this right along. Basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get all these water tiles consolidated as fast as I can. Um, ooh, this uranium ore in the middle of this is not ideal for this seed. I don't like having to deal with the uranium ore so early because of the radiation but it'll be fine it's not that bad fairly safe 
they can get sick. They'll get better. It's fine. So we're going to do that. Those guys are going that way. Let me go ahead and do this just so there's more room for all this water to flow and they have more stuff to do. Awesome. Oh, yeah, you've never seen me start from scratch? Uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Um, basically, starting from scratch can be super repetitive, but, like, you've got to nail day one. Like, you've got one day to get those toilets up, or they're going to start just peeing everywhere. And you can recover from it, but it's just really annoying to start your world with, like, a pee-filled pool of water. Like, it's not the best time. Um, so I really like that this is done. You always want to put ladders to the bottom um, i'm not going to go to the very bottom because i'm going to go ahead and add an extra layer here uh, but basically if somebody falls in so say someone's standing on a block here and someone mines it out from under them they'll fall so you want to wait for them to get out so that they don't drown uh, we'll do that i'm actually going to just do this we can figure all this out later. I'm going to do that so it flows a little faster. Sometimes the water will get stuck in these pockets. It's fine. Oops, they got stuck right there. Um, do that maybe. See if I can get that. Awesome. Like I said, this day one stuff, I used to have a bad habit of trying to get everything right on day one. You don't have to do that. You literally just need to get stuff up on day one. So I'm going to throw a pitcher pump and an outhouse, and that's it. That's all we need on day one. It's super important we get it done before they fall asleep, though. Entombed. See, this is what we don't want. Geekura, what are you doing, my guy? What are you, what are you doing? See, someone built something on top of Geekura, so we got to delete this. And anytime I'm being real quick, I'm hitting P9. So P is your priority button, and I'm telling them this is a top priority job. So I'm actually going to P8 this so that they don't... They need to get Geekera out before we lose a dupe on day one. Look at him drowning. Get out of there. Get out of there. What are you doing? The world is a pee-filled pit of water. That is true. Um, so we got Becky with the good hair making our toilet. You've got to have a pitcher pump with your toilet. Otherwise, where do they get the water for the toilet from? Think about it. Um, and I'm going to try to get all this water into this single chamber here, which, honestly, I'm going to be able to do pretty easily. It looks pretty solid. So I'm going to do, like, maybe that. And I think that'll help all this flow. Um, so some quick tips. If anybody ends up playing this, your dupes can jump up too high. Um, so two will work. It takes them longer, but it works. Build those. We'll do that. We are going to end up blocking the water off from the top because you don't want stuff to fall into the water. But we also did spawn pretty close. We're going to have to be careful. We spawned real close to some germs, which is like real close. It'll be fine. We just want to know that that's there and keep it in our mind because it's like hidden by the sedimentary. I could easily see myself doing something like that and ending up in dirt land or slime land. So we're just going to be careful. Cool. Day one. Everyone's asleep. We got our toilet up. We got our pitcher pump up. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Now what we want to do is schedule. So we want to leave this default schedule as default because when you get a new duplicate, they're going to spawn into here. I'm going to take that away. They don't need that much downtime and sleep time. It's fine. Um, and we're going to add three new schedules. But we want to name them just so we know. Um, day schedule. Add a new schedule. We'll do... Uh, midday schedule, and then we'll do nighttime. Someone's going to be working night shift, baby. And I did notice that a couple of my duplicants, oh, night shift. So a couple of my duplicants did actually have, and it's nice that they tell you, oh, nice. Two have early bird attributes. Okay, that'll, that'll work, though. I, I can make that work because days long enough that we'll we'll be all right so night shift is going to be becky with the good hair because she has that uh nighttime buff we'll close out of my schedule menu so she's got that nighttime buff becky with the good hair she's good all right but what we want to do is we want her to work at night not sleep so she's gonna do that and then she can go to bed in the morning so we'll do that uh 
two downtime and two bedtime slots are solid for now. I, I believe the duplicants will just stay asleep until they're recovered. So two's fine. The downtime is more important so that they can get to where they're going. Midday schedule, um, just for the, my sake, I like to make them all work. Um, and they'll go to bed right before nighttime. Day shift will work in the morning, sleep at night, obviously. I'll have them wake up right before. That way they're doing what they're doing once they get the buff. And I try to keep everything just slightly staggered, which I'm comfortable with that. Cool. So I can actually, because I get the daytime buff and I have two schedules in daytime, I can still split them up. So boom, everyone's on their own schedule. Now at no point will all of my dupes be asleep like they are right now, which is not ideal. Say you're running a manual generator, that's going to be a problem. Um, cool. So we'll do that. Put that tile there. Um, you don't really need to like fill these tiles out. It's fine if you don't, but I like to personally. I, I'm a sucker for the symmetry, and uh, yeah. Sometimes I'll shoot myself in the foot where I'll be more worried about symmetry than efficiency or like functionality, and it'll cost me later. So I'll do something like that and try to get this water flow in. Nice, nice. Do that. Um, we do need a bottle emptier. I can put that maybe right here. Call it a day. Bottle empty is just anything they mop, they'll be able to dump right in. So we'll do maybe M6 on this. Um, I tend to M6 the mopping things because when they run through, they'll get soggy feet or sopping wet. And you don't, it's like a morale negative that you don't want them to have. Morale is going to become super important. And it's actually one of the things I was messing up in my old world. Um, I was trying to take single duplicates and get like eight of them to do absolutely everything and then the morales were getting super high because they had so many skills um wow honestly this sounds kind of like what's happening in america with the workforce where this workers are so skilled and pissed off that they're like dude what the hell is going on here which makes sense i totally get it as a skilled employee you know like there is no unskilled labor anyways that's that's something for a different twitch um but you do need to keep the morale high and so you can always come to skills here her morale's four. Her requirement is zero because she doesn't know anything. She's useless. I mean, this is a this is a fifteen year old working at the Dollar Tree, which again, that's still skilled labor. They might not do the best job. They still got a lot to learn, right? This is basically this is basically America. You know, we're all just trapped. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, so we want to take this bottle emptier. Always make sure that you don't have a bunch of germy water that you're about to dump in, if that is what you're about to do. Um, water. We want to dump that in, and we want to put it at a six. That way, they'll just go ahead and dump it all in there. Um, and I'm going to come down here and flesh this out. Maybe something like that. Basically, I'm just trying to create room for this water so I can keep expanding. You never, if you can help it, ever want to stop expanding which means I'm actually going to just go ahead and do this. Um, I like to cancel these mining things that I don't have the skills for yet because it means I'm overshooting. And basically, like, I don't want to forget about them. Somebody get the skill and then keep going. Um, so I like to cancel them. We're going to do that. All right. I like to close all these. They're very important if you're new to the game. I'm not. So we're going to keep going. Now what we want to do is we want to look at temperature to figure out where we're going to start building stuff. Hot. Hot. Cold. Okay, cold. Heat tends to rise, so I think if I can get this water moved into, like, one big chamber, I think I'm going to make my up-down shaft, right? Chianson. I'm going to hit some uh, polluted water there, but I think it'll be all right. And basically, I want to build my, uh, like coal generator and stuff down here unless i can find an ice biome by then which i'm might be able to do we'll see we'll see we'll see so let's uh another fun trick you can get to builds that you can't usually get to by doing this little ladder trick so they can hop over to this ladder and hit this stuff um and basically i'm just trying to flesh out my water pit so it can hold all this water and I can come down without flooding my base. 
Um, because these are on the bottom, they can just come down and go bloop. Uh, maybe do like that so they can get to these. But yeah, you see, they can stand on the one and start mining this stuff out. And I think by like hollowing this out, I should be able to get all this water to rush in. But we'll see. It would be nice. It's kind of a lot of water. A girl can dream. We'll do that. Um, they can dig three high, but four down is always a good rule of thumb to know, too. I don't know why they can do three high, but four down. But that's what Clay made them do, so that's what they do. All right, this might not be... Um, also, pro tip, make this all of your edible food in the rations box and hit, like, seven. That way, anytime they find something edible like muckroot, they'll go ahead and put it in there. Then when it's time for dinner, they'll run over there to eat. Uh, also, the hatches, which I don't see any hatches. They're probably underground. Um, they'll sleep underground sometimes. Wherever the hatches are, they've got to have hatches on this map. Uh, they will eat your muckroot, so just be careful. Um, now to move quickly, I'm not going to necessarily tile this stuff off. I'm going to do something like that. Um, do that. Um, you tend to always make your rooms four high. Pro tip. Basically, four is just like the most efficient. Um, and keep expanding. Keep expanding. Never stop, never stopping. Pro tip. But yeah, I uh, really enjoyed all the streams today. Mitch told some fun stories as always. Um, we had the couch soldier killing it. King Geeker has been in the control room. I hope he's feeling a little bit better. I know he got his booster shot, and I was feeling a little bit yucky. Um, well, I'm getting mine tomorrow. Hopefully I don't feel yucky, but... I might. What can you do? Um, struggling to get all this water in here, which isn't ideal. Come on. So yeah, the reason I decided to start a new world is I was playing based on uh, false information. I was playing based on old patches. Um, for example, they used to have asteroids that would hit you. No asteroids anymore. They would come from space. And so basically, if you got to the outside of your asteroid, tiny little meteors would come and crush you. Doesn't happen anymore, so you don't need to be afraid. But there's radiation, which is a whole new mechanic that I'm not used to. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit of a learning process. Toilet. Um, now I'm thinking about where do I want my toilets to actually live. Uh, the issue with toilets is they're going to produce uh, polluted dirt and whatnot. I'm thinking back here might be a good spot because there's already going to be pollution there. I can't really comfortably get up here without hitting slime, so I think this might be the move. And it's already warm back here, so when we put our sieve our uh, polluted water sieve back here. It'll kind of work. I'm even put it in this hot room. It's already tiled off. Um, so I think bathrooms might end up over here. Sick. Okay. I definitely need to get this water done. We're going to P6 this whole water job. Just so it's a little bit higher of a priority than mining random stuff. Like I said, you want to keep expanding, but you, you, the priority menu is your best friend. Speaking of, let's go through it. Research. I don't want anyone doing research except my researcher, who's more likely to do it. Decorating. I don't want anyone who can't do good art wasting resources on crap art. Again, it's kind of like real life. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All art is valid. I don't... That's not true. I don't know what to say there. That's a whole philosophical debate. Uh, we want our diggers to dig. We got two diggers. That's what they're there for. And that's kind of all we do for now. Um, boom. All this water's... Fl oh, I'm flooding that. It's not what I wanted. Gonna be honest. I'm gonna make it work, but that's not what I want to do. I'm. It'll be fine. 
It'll be fine. It'll give us room. And I can tile it back in. It'll be fine. Um, so that's what will happen in this game, is you'll think everything's fine, and it's not. Let's see. Choose a blueprint. Are we ready for any of these guys? I do like plus seven farming. That's a good one. Let labor own the fruits of their work. Okay, Marks. I'm just kidding. Crazy guy. Um, Can't research. That's fine. You don't need to. You're my farmer. I want a farmer. And I'm also looking for a rancher and an operator. Um, so keep an eye out for them. Gonna let this water keep flowing. Build all this. Love it. Love it. We're in good shape. Very good shape. It can start to become a little bit of a slog at the beginning, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, so some other just like efficiency things that I might fly through. The washroom um, can be 64 tiles. A lot of the rooms are the same size. So 64 tiles, 64 tiles, 64 tiles. So you can get a very nice, neat, symmetrical, like boom, 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 boom. Uh, but this one can be 120. The greenhouse can be 96. Um, so they fluctuate a little, but I think it's really only those three options. Yeah, it's the only three options. Um, so first things first, we need more toilets. Which again, I really think back here might be the best bet. It's going to be a pain to deal with this anyway. So with that being said... I really want all this water to get over here so I can make my main shaft here. I'm just worried someone's going to pee in the water. You know, you really don't want that. So I'm going to live on a hope and a prayer and just keep moving and hope that no one does it. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Uh, so for these, I'm going to go ahead and just spam four because based on that room size I showed you earlier, it's the most we can squeeze. So we'll do... Yeah, I would like to have a little extra room on that side. So I'm going to put the other sink here. Bam. And we'll do an outhouse. Bam. Now we want to get our room buff. So we're going to do the pneumatic doors. Um, and we do double pneumatic doors because they let gas through. So we'll make sure that this is oxygenated as long as it's attached to the rest of the base. If stuff back here doesn't need to be oxygenated, we won't oxygenate it. We'll figure it out. Um, but it most likely will need to be oxygenated. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because we want to get ready for the polluted dirt that these are immediately going to start producing. Uh, so we're going to go to base, and we're just going to have to do something like maybe that for now. And we're going to put all the polluted dirt back in. We're also going to have to bum rush a polluted water pit to put the polluted water, which I think right up there is going to be the move. Really didn't want to build straight up from here. But it's looking like that's what we're going to do. For now. I'll, I'll block it off there and make them come around. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. It'll work out nicely. Um, so we're going to let them do that. And in the meantime, how's everybody doing? Everybody doing all right and having a wonderful day? Um, who do we got up next, King Geeker? If you're if you're still in the control room over there. I didn't look at the schedule, I should have. I know we got Logan JYA. Is Lube Cubes next? Playing New World? And then we got Logan JYA, and then I think we got Scrap. Which I I I mean everybody's fantastic, but I gotta say, Scrap's Scrap's a nice uh like fresh niche. I don't know. After watching video games all day, it's a nice switch up. Don't get me wrong. I do love me some video games. Uh, we're going to make this storage bin just... Oh, I haven't made any yet. There's this weird thing, which I kind of like that they do it, but they don't uh, like show you everything immediately. They're like, hey, here's what you've discovered, buddy. You've discovered dirt. When I discover clay, clay will also be in here. But, uh, pro tip, open your doors. Um, because these let gas through, there's no need to keep them shut, other than to keep uh, critters trapped. If you want to trap critters. Uh, we're going to deconstruct this one, because I don't like that it's on the outside there. And we're going to set all of these to direction right. 
And we're gonna copy that. Boop. And now they'll they'll come in. They'll use the bathroom. They'll leave. They'll wash their hands. Now I like to. These are gonna stay dirty. They're toilets. They're gonna be dirty. They're gonna be covered in germs. They're covered in shit. That's what happens to toilets. So I turn disinfect off until it becomes a problem. If it becomes a problem, it usually won't. Usually you're gonna get to lavatories and sinks. Um, at least I will, uh, before that becomes a problem. So just to save uh, running time, um, I just, they're going to they're gonna clean themselves on the way out, so it doesn't really matter. Deconstruct that. Sick, sick. This water's moving. Let's go ahead and maybe see if we can mop all that up. We can. Beautiful. You love to see it. You really do. Um, now I'm trying to think about those room sizes, right? So, pro tip, you can always use X, your deconstruct tool, to kind of measure block tiles. Um, so that's, as you, if you can't see, that's 64 tiles, the perfect size. Um, these ones, based on where I want my ladder, because I think I'm going to want my main ladder shaft here. So based on that, I think I'm going to make this a 96 wide one. So 96 is about there, which means I need I need room, actually. You need room for your walls and doors, so I would need to do that. And that would be 96. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Door there, and then right there. Not that one, that one. So we'll do maybe that. What was it, like that? I'll double check it out. We'll do that. Oh, that's going to be 92. I need to do one more. Also, it's one, not escape line. Damn. Freaking out, man. Freaking out. All right. And we'll just do that, just so we have a nice room. Um. So another thing. Ventilation. That's going to become a problem. Um, rooms. The bedroom or barracks, barracks are can only be 64 tiles, so right above here is a great spot to put the barracks, huh? However, that's going to be an issue, so we're going to actually do it maybe right here. Okay, that'll work. I can just maybe do like that, and that's going to end up blocked off anyway, so I'm not super worried about it. So I think that'll work, and we'll put a pneumatic door just put it right there. Just keep everything nice and even. Um, I'm leaving this space for like statues and fire poles and stuff. And like I said, I'm gonna block this off. So I'm just leaving a little bit of extra space for now because I have it. I'm gonna do that. Is 64 tiles right there, which is perfect. And we will throw some doors up right behind it. Awesome, and this is where I'm going to store their bed. Uh, I do want to go ahead and just do that so I don't have to do it later. Um, you'll end up in this weird thing where you can leave these for now, but then when they go to deconstruct them later, they might just get one, and it'll make it not a room anymore. So I just like to go ahead and do it all. That way there's no chance of them making it not a room. I mean, there's still a chance of that happening, but it's less likely. I like to lock these top doors because sometimes they'll come off the ladder through the top door, which I don't think it really matters, but it doesn't seem efficient to me, so I lock them. Um, and then we are going to go to furniture, and we are going to get ready for beds. And the beauty of this is 64 goes into 8 very nicely, if you didn't know. I believe it's 8 times 8. Look at that. Um, so yeah, you can get eight beds in there. And so now we're ready to just take duplicates. We have so much toilet space. We're going to need to worry about food almost immediately, but bam, go ahead and mop that up. I actually need to kind of give myself a little bit of buffer room here, huh? It's going to spill into there when I do that. So I need to do that. And I'll figure out how to get this water in there. I might I might just be cheap and just slap a pitcher pump. Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. 
Uh, this is not an efficient way. I mean, honestly, it's probably the most efficient way. But it's really just me being nitpicky. I don't want this water here. So I'm going to make that pitcher pump go there. And we're going to end up deconstructing this anyway. And we'll do that. Sick. And I'm going to end up sealing this up so it's like got plenty of room for water. We're going to do that. They are cruising right along here. Awesome. Beautiful stuff. You love to see it. Um, I'm going to have some little projects I need done. I think I lied to you guys. I think I'm going to make this. This is going to be 64 as well. I know it says 76, but I'm just going to tuck these in so I have room for statues. Um, an interesting trick, and I haven't really seen any people do this. People usually do, they're called decor bombs, where they'll add layers of basically nothing but statues to kind of get the decor value very high. Here's the decor overlay. Um, this is pretty. They like that. This is not pretty. The shitty toilets with shit everywhere, they hate this. They, this is disgusting. Which I get, you know? That's why I love this game. Is it makes sense, but it doesn't. Clay makes games like that. It's, it's like magical surrealism. It's like uh, Isabelle Allende made a video game. You think you know what's going on, and then they just flip the script on you, and you're like, oh, that doesn't make sense, but it does. Also, I am really excited for... um. We had a Don't Starve world, a Don't Starve Together world with... Uh, Bebo, I think Suck My Candy, Randy was there, King Geekaro was there, Lube Coops was there. We need to get Couch Soldier in there. Uh, it, it was just fun to have a whole squad. Oh, they've entombed this little one. You see? Oh no, Spitzia, you're dying. Um, So we gotta get her out of there. That's not good. You gotta keep an eye on these guys. When you give them lots of projects, they'll do stuff like this where they trap one another. It's It's dumb. So I'm going to do that, and we're going to P9 those two things. I'm glad I caught it, because it didn't even tell me she was suffocating yet. It would have waited until she was, like, halfway to a third, and then you really panic. But now we should be able to safely do that. And I would like to kind of P6 this build just to get them, just to have this room done so that they can go ahead and get the morale bonus. Which we can watch it turn into a room together. Look at this. Look at this. Once it's all sealed up. Do not entomb her. Do oh my god. Did you see them? You saw them do it in real time. Why? Okay, we're just gonna come on out and we're gonna P9 that so that they can get out when that happens. Mima, dig. Are we gonna lose Mima? Cycle five? Get her out of there. Mima! Get her out of there! Get her out of there! Mima! She's suffocating! Can you get it? Oh, come on. There's gotta be oxygen in there. Oh, she got one little breath. Run, Mima! This is intense! <sighs> Alright. She got out. Um, so yeah. Next big thing. Turns out, you guys. Turns out. I don't know if anybody was surprised by this. Uh, oxygen was not included. They didn't, uh, they didn't give us any. So, with that being said, we're going to build a very temporary little power setup. But I don't want it to heat all this stuff up. It's already warm over here, and they can already get over here. So I'm literally going to do that. Do that. Um, so yeah, just for the sake of not dying right now, we're going to do something like this. We're going to come over here. Power. Um, you don't need two batteries because you want to bum research. You want to uh, bum rush researching jumbo batteries because they're more efficient. They put off uh, basically like it's a heat to power ratio that they put off. And yeah, anyways, do it. Yeah, just put one, but leave space because the jumbo batteries take up two slots. So we're going to do that. Gonna not that, not that. We need to research something important. 
I don't want to have to move the research station. Mm. It's fine. You got to do what you got to do. You got to roll with the punches. We're going to do that. We're going to move the research station later, I'm sure. Um, Do that. And then oxygen diffuser. This is going to be your first source of oxygen in your base, guaranteeably. Um, yes, all the power stuff's over here, but I want the oxygen diffuser to be over here because that's where they live. And you see how red it is? Like, they spend a lot of time here, and I need them to be able to breathe. It would be nice. So I'm going to do that. And now we need to wire the system up. Oh, no, power. So let's go. Pro tip, hold shift, and you can do straight lines. And do that, and then come straight down. Try to hide the wire in the wall because it has a negative decor value. And then we're going to, like, P7 this, because oxygen's real low. P7 and P7. So now hopefully they'll bum rush that stuff, then come finish the beds. Um, beds are useless if they can't breathe, so we'll do the oxygen first. I probably should have already built that. <laughs> That's the name of the game. It is, it is. Uh, we want to open these, because there's no need to have them wait at these doors to open them. Um useless useless um but sick so hopefully they get the oh they can't reach there so something fell or something so we want to e7 that and then hopefully yeah they got enough oxygen to last we'll be all right um there's gonna be a ladder in here somewhere i just don't know where yet honestly i might leave that over there But kind of want a ladder here. I think here's where the ladder should go. The up-down ladder. That'll give us access to this heat. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So everybody's got beds. Um, I like to go ahead and assign them the closer beds so that they spend less time running. Uh, whose bed is this? This is King Geekera's bed. You're going to live there, buddy. Awesome. These don't have filters designated because I haven't discovered. Oh, there it is. Polluted dirt. So we want to put this on P6. That way, anytime they're running around doing stuff, as long as it's not super important, like getting oxygen, um, if they have a choice, they'll go ahead and prioritize getting this polluted dirt into these storage bins. And I will show you what we do with those later. The issue with polluted dirt is it's going to off-gas polluted oxygen. You do not want that stuff roaming around your base. It will wreak havoc. I accidentally deconstructed my um, rations box, which is not what you want to do. Oh, I don't know how I accidentally did that. Who saw me do that and didn't, didn't correct me? And I can't even make a new one because I haven't researched it. So we're going to have to bum, research, bum rush researching that. All right, all right. I'm going to go ahead and just do this. P7. We need this stuff desperately. Oxygen is very important stuff, and that is not good. You want it to be blue, not red. So P7 that. They open this door. So now they can just run around. Let's see. What do we got? Duplicate skills. Mima, you are going to be my farmer eventually once I get a farm. So you get a little farmer's hat. Spitzia, you are one of our diggers. You have very high digging. There you go. You get a little digger's hat. Bam. And now we're going to roll. Keep it moving. There's a hatch, though. Look at that little guy. We're going to be farming him and murdering him later. Okay, okay. This world's going all right so far. I'm going to do that. That. Awesome. And now what we're going to do is this enable auto bottle will basically tell them to come to this pitcher pump, get the water, pour it into here. And we want to put that on like a P7 just so they go ahead and empty this until it's moppable. Um, but if that's P7, then this needs to be P8, just if you're thinking about how priorities work. <laughs> awesome. So a good thing to note is you see how they have to run to get the items to build the thing? That's going to be super important later when we start deciding, okay, I want to build this out of a localized resource. Like, over here, I'll build out of igneous rock. Right? Mostly igneous rock. Over here, I'm going to build out of sandstone. 
But stuff like that really helps uh, streamline your builds. Okay, awesome. So now we've got King Geekara running on the running on the manual generator, the hamster wheel, and he is charging this battery, which is powering this oxygen diffuser, which we need to put on P6. Um, it needs algae in order to diffuse said algae into oxygen. Which, how does that process even work? Can you do that in real life? Can you turn algae into oxygen? I guess you could. Anyways. Awesome. Duplicate skills. King Geekara, you are a digger, buddy. So you're going to dig. You're going to get a hat. You always want to make sure this number on the left is bigger than the one on the right. That's the morale. That's going to get super important. Advanced research. Let's go. Bam, you get this fancy little science hat. Um, and can we print a blueprint? Are any of these worth printing? Ranching is great. We do need a rancher. I don't really need him to dig. We got two diggers. Any gains a nighttime attrib attribute bonus? That's really good. Doctoring, I'm not worried about. I, don't, I really don't care about doctoring, but I want a rancher, and I would change his name, but Meep is a classic. I've, I've lost many a base to Meeps. I, I feel like they always have a unibrow. So we're going to take Meep. Um, he's a night owl, so I need to go ahead and immediately throw him. Oh, see, Mima and Meep are both in that uh, default schedule that I told you. You had to have just in case. Told you. So, Meep, you're going on night shift, baby. That way he works during the nighttime. And Mima, you can go to pretty much anything because you don't have a special buff. So, we'll have two, one, two. All right. Sick. And then we want to come into our priorities here and make sure that he ranches when it comes time. We just don't want to forget. Show farm when it comes time. We just don't want to forget. Bam. Awesome. And look at that. We are now generating oxygen. Now, something I like to do that I don't see a ton of people doing, um, which I can't do it yet. I don't want to have to, like, as I dig, keep filling all of this space with oxygen. It's just going to get ridiculous as we dig all this out. Um, so I like to start throwing up manual airlocks, but I don't have them yet. So first things first that we're going to research is actually basic farming because we need the rations box. And at that point, let's get a farm going. So we're going to just go ahead and bum rush both of these. Um, I also need the mess tables to make a mess hall. So she'll start researching because that's her job and priority. She's got to fill it with dirt and stuff first. Um, and as you can see, the stuff's going to already start generating heat. Look at it. It's already turning colors. So we're starting at 73 degrees. It's going to be a problem. Look at this. This thing's going to get so stinking hot. It's already at 81.5 kdTUs a second. It's already at, Look at it going up. That's not good. It's going to get hot. Um, this is not a long-term long solution. Uh, this is a very short-term solution. But. Diggers like to dig, so they're digging all that out for me. Um, it's hard for me to kind of map out which way I want to go. Actually, this is going to be the ladder shaft. That is... Oh, nope, because it'll hit that. Okay, then this will be the ladder shaft. I can live with that. And then we'll make this the 64. We're just going to make this like a little mid, mid lane storage room. We'll see what happens. I'm going to do that for now. And do that for now. Um, I do want to create like a. Hmm. First, I need to wall this in because I don't want it to be a hassle later. So we're gonna wall that in. Maybe make it a little higher. Oh, my pitcher pump's not in the water. That's not the best. Deconstruct that, and deconstruct that. Uh, pitcher pump's got to touch the water, turns out. So I'm going to put a little higher than I need to. Hopefully we find some water. I'll figure it out. So I'm going to do that. 
Another thing I need to do is I really don't like it being exposed at the top like that. I hate it. So they can come in from the side here, and that's it. Do that. Do that. And at that point, we will make the, uh, let's see, plumbing. At that point, we'll make this bottle emptier go there. I like to stick it out over. Do that. Maybe M that. Cool. Awesome. Do that maybe. And then I can make this a little storage unit. And that'll work nicely for me. Sick, do that. Awesome. And we're going to actually put that at a one so no one tries to pour water out where they can't pour water. We're going to deconstruct that. We're going to hit P7. P7, baby. We're going to keep cruising right along here. I'm going to do that. Um, basically, with this center shaft, what I'm trying to do is uh, just streamline it. Um, I'm going to need somewhere for my fire pole, so it's going to have to be on this side because I accidentally put it too close to this printing pod. Which wasn't ideal, but again, you know, you got to roll with the punches in this game. Cool. Awesome. So we got Spitzy asleep in here. Low oxygen. That's because this needs to be on a thing. They won't function if they're just floating. So you gotta build them, it turns out. Alright, so that research is done. Man, she's a good researcher. That was fast. I love it. You love to see it. We're definitely gonna need this jumbo battery, but I'm worried about my oxygen production. So I'm going to actually bum rush, where are they, doors. I want these doors bad. Basically just because I'm expanding so fast and I don't want to, this oxygen is spreading out evenly and I need it to stay here. So we'll do that. We're going to put the generator on a P6 just so it's a more common job for them to do. And yeah. Just keep trucking right along here. So proud of 50. That's fun. You know, put a lot of work into this. Close all these. I know about all that. And now we cruise. We're at 21,000 calories. Um, I personally do not build... I do not build my farm until probably later than most people. Um... But that's a personal choice, so. I'm kind of frustrated that I put this there. I really shouldn't. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to move it one over. I'll move it two over. I'm going to put it here. Deal with it. Complete waste of time, and I shouldn't have done that, but. This is, this is what I'm saying about how, like, the symmetry is what gets me. Where I'm like, Ugh, I don't like the way it looks aesthetically. Even though it would be perfectly functional. Doesn't matter at all. I'm like, ew, no. I don't like it. Um, I kind of like the idea of having this too wide shaft in the middle for uh, maybe a decor bomb slash storage unit. See how it goes. I'll show you what uh, the decor bombs look like once I'm done. Once I build one. They're pretty sweet. They really help a lot, I gotta tell you. Yeah, I should not... Um, <laughs> early game, you never want to be spending this much time doing cosmetic bullshit. So, do as I say, not as I do. Right. 
Um, basically, I wanted to leave room here to put a pneumatic door. That way I can make this a rec room. You really don't have to. I can make the rec room over here because the beds are there. You really don't even need a rec room. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. My best. All right? I'm doing my best. But yeah, be sure to follow everybody on their uh, personal pages. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody who streams with us has their own personal stream that they do. Um, some awesome guys, awesome content, fun times. That is the northern colloquial guys. So, you know, all, all genders welcome. You guys. I remember I used to wait tables, and uh, I got you guys from my mom is from Queens. I would be like, hey, what's up, you guys? And uh, I had so many people be like, um, but we're not guys. And I was just like, well, okay. Like, I, obviously, lady. It was always an issue, so... No, I just, uh, I made myself, I, I started making myself say you all, uh, and then I started to get make, made fun of by people who were from up north for saying you all. They're like, you're not from New York. I'm like, dude, I, I learned how to, like, exist in this culture. I'm sorry. I hate y'all. I hate it. I'll say it when I'm waiting tables or something. I said it all the time, but. Gross. Um, so I'm doing this lip here just in case they dump some water and it comes up. I don't want it to flood back down here. All right. Oh, so you got to be careful when you destroy tiles. Sometimes you destroy the stuff behind the tiles. That's why once your base gets super complex, I recommend clicking tile and then clicking deconstruct. Because if you hit X and use the deconstruct tool, you're telling it to deconstruct everything behind it. Gas pipes, wires everything like it, it's kind of absurd um but i get it with like a 2d game this layered like what do you do how do you like distinguish that short of clicking tile deconstruct makes sense i'll just little build those we got those going well so far um i'm gonna do this Maybe I'll start going back to four here. We'll do that. So I'll actually delete those, follow this out. Um, yeah, I really love this game too because it just it's like a a base builder, but it's also like always a puzzle. At no point in time is like everything as nice, and you really have to like pick and choose your battles. Nothing's ever perfect. that mm. Mm. I don't like the idea of maybe having these be the ways out of my base once my base gets big they're gonna need a way out and I can maybe have these be like bloop how they get out you know what I lied I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the double mine shaft Like I said, I always build them four high. I've never. Oh, you got entombed. Oh no. Alright, you're out. Three. And then I'll do that. And I don't want any of this stuff to be here. I really need them to get on the whole enable auto bottle thing. Just so they get all this water out, and I can keep moving. Um, this is what I mean. Keep it moving, baby. Um, always check, because sometimes just the way RNGs work, you will end up with, like, slime lung somewhere you don't expect it, or somewhere you think there's slime lung, there won't be any. Who's suffocating? Sometimes they'll tell you they're suffocating. Oh, she actually is. I really need you to not die right now. Oh, you just moved over. That's not what I wanted. What if... Oh, no. I don't want to lose someone this early. How do I save you? 
I might not be able to save her. Uh. Uh. Ooh, if she digs that oxygen, might she might be able to get oxygen. No. What if you did that? What if you built this? She's gonna die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Please don't die. Oh, you're gonna die. Don't die. Oh, man. Sweet, <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. All right. I can't roll back this early. It's such a rookie move. We're going to have to have a dead... I'm so sorry, Sweetsia. Our 50th follower. And this is this is how I treat you. Oh, my God. I can't believe she died. I didn't kill her. <laughs> you killed my mom. I didn't... She died. I didn't kill her. There's a difference. There... <laughs> Her body is right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, this is not the best run through so far. Man. That is... That is funny. I'm sorry. I don't... We will give you a memorial. Ugh. Too funny. Here you go. This is uh, in honor, in honor of our fiftieth follower. Is this a Freudian thing? <laughs> I didn't know she was down there. She was the digger. She got stuck. I'm so sorry. Now I need another digger. Oh, that's rough. All right. This is gonna be our rancher eventually. Still be a farmer for now. Get it together, guys. Ooh, plus 11 creativity. It's pretty good. I don't like bottomless stomach, though, so I'm not taking it. Pufflet eggs? Nah, I'll take the joy seeds. None of that stuff matters. <laughs> yeah, this is awkward. None of the other ones could die. It had to be that one. Oh my goodness. I'm so embarrassed. Day one. Or day nine. Day eight. F in the chat. Can we get an F in the chat for Spezia? I am not the murderer. It's just a body. Like, bodies can exist. Like. Oh man. I'm so embarrassed. I almost, like, I was tempted to roll it back. But I was like, you can't roll back on day nine. I mean, you could. Oh, that was funny. That was funny. I'm so embarrassed. Where do we go from here? What do we do now? This is completely, like, derailed everything. They're crying for you. Hold on. Let's slow it down. King Gikura is mourning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's good now. That's all he needed. Meemaw's got to come pay her condolences. Man. Why does it give a negative decor? It kind of, like, decentivizes you from putting up memorials. Should give you a positive decor. They should be happy that like they got to enjoy Spitzia's company for as long as they did, you know? <laughs> At least someone cares. Hold on, I gotta drop I gotta drop an F in the chat. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh man, this game, that's funny. Um, so Annual airlocks. I don't know what I'm going to put over here, so I'm going to go ahead and block it off. Deal with it later. That's fine. That's fine. Do that. We're just kind of trying to block off 
where this oxygen can escape to. Um. <laughs> Ob's not their overlord. Yeah, I care, right? Just, you know, sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. <laughs> oh, funny. And now I, I need a new digger. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff's got to happen now. I do not love this uh the seed so far, I gotta be honest. Not my favorite, but we'll make it work. Ooh, actually, you know what? It's a great seed. It's fantastic and I love it. Do that. Just make sure I'm not digging into any germs. I am not. Man, I really need another digger now that Spitzy is gone. that uh yep we're gonna need a geekra or three addict to ban that bot banish him all right let's see i need to go ahead and get this battery internal combustion can be good too Awesome, now we just cruise right along here. Alright, so for the Great Hall, which is the next big morale boost we're going to go for, it's also where they're going to keep their food and whatnot. So you get plus three, 64 tiles. Cannot put you in there. So we can do that. I just hate that the slime lungs right there is kind of frustrating for me. Uh, I'm going to make it work. I've decided. Come through here and do that. Um, and sometimes I'll like mark my floor lengths with something like that, but I don't necessarily uh, need them to build the whole floor in a tile right there. Um, what I want to do here is the world famous, the classic, the one and only. Uh, air seal. Bam. 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 And bam. You love to see it. So we're going to do that. Like that. Alright, so we're going to put a water seal right there and we're going to try to go get this stuff up and keep it on that side of the water seal just kind of buy us an extra level here because it would be nice to have the great hall right chanson um i can drop the food right behind it or in front of it drop the food. we'll find out we'll find out we're living laughing loving we're having a good time cruising right along here man i've already been streaming for an hour yay the bot got banned at least the message was deleted. I'll take the ban. Only 45 minutes left. I feel like I've made no progress. Um, I gotta say, this isn't my favorite seed. Um, being on top of the slime, having the uranium ore right there, Spezia dying. Uh, fun playthrough. Not my favorite playthrough. Not my favorite. Um, but yeah... Keep dumping this water. I kind of want to P7 this thing. Just like get up here and do it. Researcher's done. I'm trying to keep researching stuff quicker than I need it to keep this water level down. Um, research actually requires water to accomplish, which is strange. I don't know where it even tells you that. I don't even know if it does tell you that. 
pretty sure it takes water. Um, we'll go ahead and maybe build some toilet barrels. Right there. Yeah, not... Not loving this, uh, this layout. Um... Not the best. Like, this middle shaft that I've created is, like, too small to really be super useful. How big is it? With doors, how big would it be? 32, yeah. I could I could actually do some two-story builds in here. We can make it work. Also, how are so many of them getting entombed? Like, this never happens. I mean, it'll happen occasionally, but is he going to die? Are we going to lose King Gikara? Ooh guys <laughs> so uh just so you know i don't know if you believe in like astrology astronomy i don't know astrology uh something's happening though yesterday geekera's car got towed i got in a car wreck not a bad one i mean like a car did hit my car it wasn't really a wreck it was a fender bender but like what's happening spezia's dying struggle I am excited uh, <laughs> for this 45 minutes to be up so I can leave this base and never come back to it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is uh, not how I expected this to go at all. But they do require a food source. Um, so usually early on, I don't actually bum rush food uh, because... Once stuff gets dicey, you can just go find it real quick, but that's only true for the early game. Um, so to create this water seal, hit P7, enable auto bottle. Hopefully they'll get it from down there. Why would you get it from there? That's fine. Where are you going? Um, and as you level them up, they'll get faster and faster and faster, which is pretty helpful, but I need to build a carbon sink. I need this water out of here. I need them to drop this stuff off. Yeah, I, I actually could use this area for farming. Because something else I learned, the mealwood doesn't actually get benefited by uh, being in a farm. Or in a greenhouse, rather. At least I don't think. And here's where you got to be careful. You can already see the temperatures starting to... The heat's moving in. That's getting hot. Getting real hot over here. And eventually all this is just going to start turning yellow-orange. And you're going to have some problems. You're going to have some problems once that happens. Um, so just to stay ahead of the curve... Let me do that. Somebody should be bringing some water soon. Oh no, are these guys in a loop of taking water? He's taking water from this pitcher pump, I think. Sometimes if you're not careful with your priorities and what you tell them to do, they can end up in loops. Where like he might take water from this pitcher pump and put it in this bottle over and over and over. Um, so you kind of got to be careful, which is interesting because ants actually do the same thing. Bit of a tangent. Ants will go into a death spiral where, where they'll follow one another's uh, pheromones until the point where the whole like colony is following. They think they're following the person in front of them who thinks they're following the person in front of them. And they'll be going in a giant circle. It's actually pretty horrifying. They're called death spirals. Um, so it kind of makes sense that your dupes would do the same. All right, guys. Enable auto bottle. I didn't enable it. I must have hit it twice. No worries. No worries. Bam. Mealwood. Plant. You do want to go ahead and start planting the mealwood because the only way to get mealwood is to find it. Um, and the only way to get more mealwood is to propagate it. So in order to have a lot of mealwood seeds, you need to be making mealwood. And neither of you are diggers. I don't need... I mean, I guess I could take the builder, but I don't want him. 
Man, I'm so mad I let Speedsia die. We're gonna print the hatchling eggs just so there's hatches running around. I can't farm them yet. The struggle is real, Speedsia. This game gets tough. Um, this is not. This is. This is amateur hour, and I'm still messing it up, so. Usually, this is the part that I've done like a million times, and I run through perfectly until I get to the hard part, but today. Not today. Um, but yeah, you can see she did pick up water, and she... Oh, no, she's going to pick it up here. I'm pretty sure this thing takes water. It takes dirt, I guess, not water. It consumes dirt. Huh. I swear it used to take water. Oh, well. That. Almost got a seal here. And then basically I want to dump all the slime into one of these pits. Let's see. Food's getting a little bit low, but we got the farm starting at least, so we won't be in dire straits. Mima, you are going to end up being... Uh, you could eventually. I might have you ranch. Probably not. For now, you're just going to farm. Yeah, and I would have uh, I would have streamed my new world, but a lot of it is literally me sitting there with the game pause like... Hmm. So I feel like it doesn't make for a very engaging stream. Um, I thought I would start a new one and it would go great. <laughs> Little did we know. The RNG gods were not on my side today. Um, this isn't what I want. I can make it work. I can make it work. Um, basically, this water lock is to prevent all this germy stuff that's going to become a problem. I'm getting into my base. Alright, sweet. Yeah, well, kind of just cruising along. Not a lot I can do. Man, that start was rough. It's back there, meep. Sleep there. I have to figure out a way to get all this water together. Don't like it. And there's not even anywhere for me to get up get up there. If I do that. And then that. And then this there and then that there. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put one of these storage bins in the polluted water. Um, this slime lung will off-gas polluted oxygen. We don't want that. If you put it in a storage bin underwater, it can't off-gas. That's how gases work. Okay. Seems like a good seed at first. It's not the seed's fault, honestly. It's my fault. I just like to blame the seed because it makes me feel better about myself. But it's totally, totally my fault. 
if any like pro oxygen not included streamers are here they're laughing at me like, what is he doing let's see if i can sh oh nope not gonna do it yet Yep, there it goes. Off gas and polluted oxygen immediately. Now, the semi-good thing about this is it is still oxygen. They can breathe it. It does give them a debuff called Yucky Lungs. Yep, he's got Yucky Lungs from breathing in that stuff. But, um, It's kind of easy to deal with once you get used to it, though. But you can also see it starting to spread slime lung into the air. That's the stuff you really don't want to get past this seal. Um, you can get a little bit in your base, it's fine, but you don't want much of it. Still kind of mad I lost my other digger. Probably going to go into my... Uh, other world after this and be like, man, thank God this didn't go so poorly. Um, I'm going to cancel that just because I don't need to finish that right now. Let's cancel it. Too much liquid. All right. Come on, keep on going. I just want to put that like at eight. Do, 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 do. I really just need them to get up there and do that. Now I can actually make this area viable, but in order to do that, I am going to need deodorizers. Which, in order to get deodorizers, I'm going to need advanced research. But I wanted to build it down there, which I'm not going to be able to do, so we're going to build it up here. That's all good. I need to research the advanced research, don't I? Yep, there it is. Uh, we're going to deodorize all this and level it out. I might be able to actually like one, two, three, four. Uh, so you can cheat sometimes. You can do stuff like this where they'll fill this in, right? Right now it's filled with polluted oxygen. But once they fill this in, I'll fill in another layer. And then there's no way gas can take this area up. So when I mine through here, there won't be any polluted oxygen in these tiles. Pro tips. Pro tips. Yeah, right. You saw the you saw how this run through is going. I need pro tips. I need to go watch uh, Yanni or uh, Francis John or something. Which, those guys, I don't know how they're so good at this game. I thought I was... I, I swear my other worlds went smooth in this. I'd never even get one dead duplicate. Well, I, that's a lie. I roll back when I get a dead duplicate because I invest so much, many resources into them. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to roll back on stream. It felt it felt dirty. You can do it when you're like by yourself, but you don't like you don't roll back your stream in public. Gross. And yeah, I'm kind of stagnant because one of my dupes died, and uh, they were my digger, and I'm trying to dig, and it's taking a long time because nobody is good at digging. Well, I have. King Geekera. Wherever you are. Oh, Becky with the good hair over here doing some research. Yay! So cute. 
okay. So I think I have my bigger battery. So we'll deconstruct that. And I want to piece six all this stuff real quick. Deconstruct that. And we're going to build our supercomputer right Johnson, right next to the other one. Power up. The thing that does suck is when you destroy a battery, all the energy is destroyed with it. So maybe be smarter about it. I don't know. Still pro tips to you, baby. Aw, oh, thanks, buddy. Not, not my best showing, you know? Hey, can you dig? Can you dig? No. Ooh, so this is a fun thing to do. We're going to take the ice. Now, I'm going to have to do this real fast because the ice is going to melt. Because it just comes out of the pod, watch. And they just drop ice on the ground. So there it is, ice. It's negative 41 degrees. But look, it's going to start changing temperature. Eventually. At first, it cools down the area around it, and then that area, it basically all balances out. But What we want to do real fast is hide a storage bin underwater. And then we're going to fill it with ice. That way, if the ice does melt, it'll melt into the water. Get it? Also, it'll help keep the water cool. Uh, you got to be careful, because if the water gets really hot, they move the water around the base. And if the water's hot... It doesn't just get destroyed when you use it. Well, some things will destroy water. But for the most part, it doesn't uh, destroy heat usually. There's a few ways to actually just delete heat. Um, and people exploit that mechanic a lot. Uh, but you want to keep the water cool. That way when they use it and put it in things, it cools it down. Uh, heat doesn't seem like a problem. And it kills a lot of people like mid to late game. Also, I don't have anywhere to put polluted oxygen yet, and that's why I'm trying to get up here, or the polluted water, rather. Polluted water, where are you taking it? No, no, no. See? So this is one of the reasons why I don't like that menu system, where they, they don't show you everything until you discover it. So it didn't show me polluted water in the bottle emptier, emptier earlier. So I just was like, yeah, I'll do liquids. We'll do water. But now I've discovered polluted water. So it, it just assumed at an, a level eight priority that I wanted to dump polluted water into my setup here. I don't, I definitely 100% do not want to do that. So we're gonna turn that off. Um, but you can see they dropped the polluted water and now it's off gassing polluted oxygen. Not the best, not what we want really need them to do this so I can get over to here peace out let's go let's go my uh, last stream on my uh, personal channel went so well with like my build and everything and everything was just like I was killing it and uh, now we have this um, I'll make him a farmer for now. Like, I don't know, but think about it. Did, like, Prince ever have a bad show or, like, a rough day? He had to have, right? Can't win them all. Can't get, like, perfect seeds and perfect playthroughs all the time, can you? Let's see, we want to come down here to liquefiable and ice. Now, the same thing's going to happen when we discover polluted ice. They're going to try to put polluted ice in here. We've got to be careful that doesn't happen. I'm going to put this at like a P8, just because I really don't want that ice to melt. Let's do P8 until the ice is in there. Um, this is pretty much good, I think. So we can mop that up and delete this. And that's how you clear out a little puddle when you mess up. Excuse me. Um, my diggers really like digging, and they're doing that instead. Of... Gikara, go, go dig up here. They're like not registering this as a dig. They're registering these as builds, which is unreachable. It's not unreachable. It's one hundred percent reachable. 
So now they'll start moving this ice, and then we'll put the ice in here. But you can already kind of see the little pocket of cool that the ice just sitting there created. It's like 76 here and 73 there. I mean, this is the kind of thing where, like, it seems so gra it's so gradual that it'll just sneak up on you. This is already getting up to 80. Like, it'll get you. Why do they say that's unreachable? It's 100% reachable. Thank you. Come on, come on. Damn, what a slog. It's been rough. I stand by my decision to uh, not quit on stream or roll back, but <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I was coming back to this asteroid. <laughs> I don't think I am. I don't think I'm going to open this safe again. <laughs> kind of already calling it. I can't, like you know, keep playing a world where I murdered my girlfriend's mom and our 50th follower in good conscience. I gotta, gotta do something else. But it's too late to start a new world now, so. Excited for uh, Lube Coops playing some new world. Hopefully uh, his stream goes, or his game goes better than mine at least. Oh, man. Ah, Hearthstone. Sick. I'm pumped for Hearthstone. And let's see. We're going to put our bottle emptier right there just to try and... Uh, man. This isn't going to work ideally either. I have really screwed the pooch this playthrough. <laughs> It's like I learned all that stuff, and I was like, let me not implement any of it. Do that. Yeah, I mean, water seal's working. Water lock's working. Can't get through. Uh, you gotta be careful. They will bring germy stuff into your base, uh, so do look out for that, but... Oh, Loop Cube's got some special guests, you guys. Stick around for that. That should be a good time. Um, I was really enjoying uh, watching your deck building and deck breakdowns on your last stream. Also, we should coordinate a time for a Three Attic Network Don't Starve session, because that was a lot of fun. I didn't expect that. And for this one, we want polluted water, and we want to put this at like a 8. So anytime they find polluted water, they're going to come dump it in here. Um, one of them's probably gonna go grab that right now and dump it in. Come on, get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him. And there he goes. And then, come on. Don't really need to disinfect stuff up here, guys. It's not really that important. I kind of just disinfect stuff within my, uh, like, within my base. You end up having these, like, in your head borders. So for me, it's like, I try to keep it here, where there's oxygen and whatnot. So you don't need to have them coming up and cleaning this. You don't need to have them come disinfect this dirty, nasty, disgusting uh, spot. Um, I'm going to put all my slime in here at, like, a P8. Because that's super important that they get the slime off the ground. Because that's what's off gassing and causing this. This we're going to deal with shortly. Yep. 
Yay, and now it is not off-gassing. There's still polluted oxygen here, it's still a problem, but it's not creating more and more and more. It's all going right in here. Which, this is why I said, there's no point in having them come and try to disinfect this. Like, it is a complete waste of time. Just disable disinfect. Um, that's one of the tricks I learned that saved me a lot of time. Uh, but, it doesn't matter. I suck. Just kidding. Um, with that being said, I'm not coming back to this world. I'm not happy with it. I don't like it. I want to show you guys. I'm just going to load up my other world. Um, this one. I'm just going to... We're just going to do for the last 10-15 minutes just a little base tour. Just, I already showed you most of the base, but I'm proud. We're going to keep looking. All right. So yeah, hope everyone sticks around. We finally hit 50. Hopefully we get uh, some more people coming and joining the channel. It's been an awesome time. Oh, learning about new games that I never thought I'd play. Who was it? Pharaoh Conch was playing a fun game, uh, Inscription. That looked pretty sweet. Never heard of that. Yeah, this, is, this is the world though. Look at this, this thing. Oh, it's going great. Um, I definitely need to build my oxygen room, but this is going so much better. Nobody's died. Zero dead duplicates. You love to see it. Now, I am going to need to build an oxygen room in order to deal with this slime. And the oxygen rooms have been a little bit tricky for me to wrap my head around. So I'm going to maybe build one here. And my idea is going to be that they're going to they're going to come into the oxygen biome or the slime biome and they're going to leave through the oxygen room is kind of the idea. But I don't know where to build it. Ooh. In here could be a good spot. Yeah, so much of this uh, game is like pre-planning, and I don't want to bore you with me sitting here and doing math. Uh, ooh, natural gas geyser. Should come and get that. The last time I cracked one of these open, though, uh -huh, I got natural gas throughout my base. It was not fun. Um, but yeah, so let's see. I'm gonna actually load up. And just kind of, I'm just kind of going through. So this is this is the old one. Let's go to the main menu. We're gonna turn the D DLC off and look at the old world, the coughing cesspool. Deactivate DLC. Oh, don't look at that screen. <laughs> Shh. Kikura made some pizza for when I'm done. That's sweet. So yeah, this was the coughing cesspool. This was uh, the world I was playing on stream. That was going all right, but I, I really feel like I did a bunch of stuff wrong. And with this game, like the way equal equilibriums and math works, like if you start to get too far on one side of like bad, you're just going to go like it's so hard to come back. Like, if your base starts overheating and you weren't already doing something about the heat, you're going to be screwed. Um, so here I've got... A, this is the old world I was playing. Coughing cesspool on stream. Um, I was having some issues. I've got this carbon sink. I never built my carbon skimmer. We got a good amount of water, though, except it's not up here. Ran out of water. Temperature was becoming a bit of an issue. I did make a Paku farm, which was nice. This room I didn't make right. I shouldn't have put these crown moldings here because I need to leave room for my automation sweepers. I shouldn't have used the manual airlocks because pneumatic doors open faster. And since they're coming in and out of here a bunch, they have to stand at these doors and wait for them. I should have waited. Oh, no, these, these sculptures aren't too bad. 
I, I made some sculptures while my uh, artist wasn't leveled up, so he made crappy art. It's an abstract sculpture, whereas next to it is when he got better once you level him up, and he's a genius. Um, this farm station is not actually improved buildings. If you see, mealwood is not on this list, so I was just wasting space. I could have been growing more mealwood. There's no need to have these here. Um, farm station doesn't affect mealwood. Who knew? Oh, oh, God. What happened here? Oh, I think I was trying to consolidate this water. Um, but yeah, all these all these manual airlocks weren't... I, I shouldn't have put these here until I had a plan of doing something with the space. Um, it's fun to go back and uh, like look at what you did wrong. These oxygen masks, they were a nice addition, but I personally, I don't like them. I kind of prefer bum rushing, um, kind of for bum rushing the Atmo suits and just putting those there because the amount of time it takes to set these up and then to break them down and reset them up. And I'm pretty sure you'd probably lose all the oxygen that's stored in them, which I don't want. Um, yeah. I was looking at some stuff. See, it was alright. It was an okay world. Not the best. Contagious Space Prison. So this is an old one from July. Let's see how much stuff I did wrong in this one real quick. Last 10 minutes. Just analyze how little I understood the game. It really is an uphill battle if you get behind, like, it, it can be so hard to come back. I've done it before, like, where you're pretty much at heat death or you have no calories and your dupes are starving. And I've come back without losing anybody, but it's not a fun time. It's panic. Pure panic. Ah, uh, so this is telling me that there's updates because I haven't opened this world in so long. But let's see, what was I doing? Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh no, so I uh, I had made these preemptively because I was losing dupes apparently, which makes sense. Is that true? No food? Really? No, I have food. Buggy. I guess because this is such an old world. Oh no, I only have cooking ingredients. I do not have any actual food. What? Why isn't mealwood in here? What is happening? Uh, I was using Weezworts to solve my temperature issues, but this is, there's no radiation. So this was before any radiation was a problem. Um, oh god, I got so much polluted water down in here. That, you don't want to see that. I got chlorine in here somehow. You don't want that. What are these guys doing? I had some ranches. Uh, these are before I learned how to make actual ranches. Uh, this is not how you want to do it. What was I doing? I got chlorine all in my base. Oh, I came over to this chlorine gas vent and was trying to do something. This is a terrible spawn. This thing's probably like not even functioning correctly. Okay. Yep, gas went over pressure. And, like, just look at how sloppy everything is with, like, the gases everywhere. There's polluted oxygen. I've got I've got polluted water spilling out. I tried to come into space. Oh, this is when they still had asteroids, and the asteroids were crushing my crap. Absolutely destroying me. Um, and, yeah, I say keep expanding. I It's not necessarily – you don't have to do this that I was doing where I was, like, hollowing everything out. Go for the resources you need. Like, come up here. You don't need to do all this. If you just need to come get the polluted water, just come get the polluted water. You don't have to hollow everything out. I don't know what I was doing. In my defense, this was like months ago. Oh, yeah, dude. What a sloppy base. And like, look at how much travel time it's taken for them to run around. I got my fire pole. Oh, this dude's on the massaging bed. We have... No food. Virtually no food. 3,000 calories. That is not enough for nine duplicates. I, I see why I quit this world and started a new one. Uh, this was terrible. Again, 
farming stations do not improve mealwood. Been wasting my time with those. Um, this is not how you build a good ranch. Did that wrong. Yeah, so, you know, we learned a lot. Um, instead of building a carbon skimmer, I was trying to just pump all the carbon into space, which used to be viable. It used to work. And so I would go up here. And, yeah, I used to... Oh, it kind of still works. But if you pump it into a vacuum, it'll just disappear. They took that away in the DLC. You can't just do that. Um, because right here will not be a vacuum. You have to go, like, up here to get into the vacuum. So, yeah. Fun stuff, though. Always good to, like... I do this with other projects as well. Like, I do it with photography and music projects, productions I'm working on, where I'll go back and be like, what was I thinking? What was I doing? What is happening? Like this. Why? How did I get water polluted water and salt water all stuck in here with a desalinator underwater can the desalinator operate underwater i feel like that's a that's a not underwater thing and again i was just hollowing stuff out blindly like i don't i don't know what i was doing i got chlorine why is there chlorine down here this is a mess Oh, I did make a chlorine room. I don't think it's very functional. There's no ore scrubber. I mean, everything's a chlorine room if you let chlorine spill into your base. There's no food. No food. Yeah. Well, good to know that uh, I think I'm a little bit better at this game now. Today was not an example of that. Today did not go my way. Oh, this plumbing is sloppy. What is what is going on here? What is all what are all these like offshoots? Ah, I was trying to dump water out there instead of making a closed loop. What was I doing? It's not even they, these aren't even working. I was trying to pump this chlorine out. Didn't work. Got some rotten food. No food. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's about it. Fun stuff though. I really do like this game. Breakdown. Time lapse unavailable because it's so old. I bet I bet I started this world before they even had this menu. But yeah, it's a great game. Highly recommended. I will probably. I'm trying to decide if next stream, if I should switch games or keep going with Oni. Because, like, at least in the world that I'm the furthest in, I just feel kind of stuck. Um, and I think it's going to take basically a lot of death and dying to learn how to do everything. So. <laughs> definitely fix the temperature with spamming Wii's Wars around my base. That definitely helped, but... That's not a viable option anymore because of the radiation. So, on that note, I think I've got like three minutes left. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you all had a fun time watching me uh, overconfidently die in Oxygen Not Included. Uh, Spezia, our 50th follower, I'm very sorry I murdered you. Um, it was all downhill from there. That uh, that colony was not my best. <laughs> you know, uh, maybe uh, next time we'll go better. No promises. Um, but yeah, with all that being said, looking at this world, I think I'm going to open up my real world and try to build the chlorine room off stream. And uh, I'll embarrass myself to myself. And not to you guys. But stick around for Lube Coops. He's got uh, some awesome stuff about to come up. He's uh, doing some Hearthstone. He said he's got a special guest. So stick around. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, King Geekra, I'm going to go ahead and let you take it away, my guy. Bye, everybody. <laughs>